Hello, this is Brandon Leon, your Rockland real estate expert. I'm here with Keith Collins, your lender. I was wondering how you're going to leave with that. Like, what's he going to call me? I was going to call you Ricky Bobby. Were you? Yeah. First or last? Ricky Bobby Inc. All right, baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We are here with a Rockland market update for November 2019. Uh, what's important to note is uh, we do market updates for Pasture County, but I also like to do Rockland because Rockland is my favorite. That's your home. I, I live there. Mm -hmm. I live in Rockland. Okay. Rockland is my home. I appreciate that. Yeah, correct. Sounds like so, the address you purchased. <laughs> I live in Rockland.com is my home.com.org. Dot net. All right, oh, moving on. So cut that the, out. <laughs> the average, the average sale price in Rockland is five hundred twenty-two thousand. That's about five thousand less than Placer County as a whole. Uh, so what's important to note about that is houses in Rockland. The average sales price is over five hundred thousand dollars in Rockland. In Rockland, and it's been like that. It was hovering around five hundred one thousand in November of last year. Right. So. We're up. We're up about twenty-one thousand uh, dollars in the average sales price, which is surprising due yeah, to that time of the year. Are in Rockland, right? It's which because you, you live there. It's that's why I live there. Yeah, that's the exact reason. <laughs> so. What are we jumping into now? Uh, we're actually going to talk about the days on market. Days on market. So in Rockland right now, we've got about forty-nine days on market. What that means is it takes about forty-nine days for your home to go list, to list your home on the market, and then for it to actually go pending. Mm -hmm. This isn't closed, keys in your hands. That's a whole other. That's a whole other number that could be tracked. But this is. I put my house on the market. It's on average going to take me about forty nine days to get the house under contract. The potential on thirty days to close it from there. Mm -hmm. Really important to think about if you have a target sell date. You really got to backtrack a little bit to figure out when you need to put your house on the market to be able to sell based on that move that you want to hit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, you know, when we're talking about months of inventory, if you look at months of inventory, uh, let's say that. We like right now in November we have a 1.3 months of inventory, and it's what that so means low. is it's very low. If we're in, we are in a seller's market, guys. It's not a secret. You guys know that. But what I would say is 1.3 months. Let's say that we didn't list any other houses for uh, at all. At all period. Yeah. We, we didn't list stop. any other houses. Yeah. We stopped listing houses. It would take 1.3 months for us to run out of homes. If all homes are sold. Yeah. If all homes are sold and all homes sold, it would take 1.3 months. Now. When I look at that number, I think what's crazy about that is we're we are we are like almost half, like forty five percent less than this time last year in months of inventory. So the months of inventory in Rockland have so dipped it's way significantly tighter, way tighter. So like it's actually easier to buy a house a year ago than it is today in Rockland. Absolutely. And so people are talking about sometimes the market actually like, hey, the market's getting worse from from like like the market's going to drop. Sure. But it actually has gone the other direction by almost over 50% specifically in Rockland. And that's probably why the average sales price is higher than all Oh, yeah, for sure. Supply and demand. Right. Supply and demand. So another thing to point out is uh, when you are getting your home ready to sell, I think one of the, one of the hardest conversations as I go into listing appointments is people don't even know the right questions to ask right like hey tell me how the market it was this time last year right like that's a good point yeah. right when we look at that what was the market like this time last year and knowing where you're at currently and the market and how your home stacks up against the competition what I mean is uh, it, it, the comparable homes, or let's say the competitive homes that I'm competing with, other homes like mine that are for sale right now, right. It's we're going to have a different strategy of listing your house if you're competing with three homes versus if you're competing with 15 homes. Okay. So you're going to you're going to have a different strategy specifically for that. So it's really important to know, and that's why we do these updates because we want you to know what's currently going on in the market. It's not just about the the houses that have sold like yours. It's about what's happening in the market currently, right? I so. How, how does that play into? Yeah, well, I'm going to jump into that, but I think what's really interesting too is that you know you have conversations with the customers about you know selling their home, and I think a lot of times it's just like oh, I'm just going to pop my house in the market, and maybe just come to like open door or something like that, and it's going to sell. Like in very tight markets like this, you actually have to have a strategy to sell your home, and then you also have to have contingency plans if certain things occur. Mm -hmm. So we're you're, in if you're selling a home in Rockland, and we're just talking about a baseline average, you're selling a half million dollar asset. Mm -hmm. Have a plan to sell that asset. People think about like I'm just going to sell my home, 
Now you're selling five hundred thousand dollars of an asset. If you're going to go liquidate five hundred thousand dollars of your IRA, you would have a plan in place and how to do that from a tax standpoint, a planning standpoint, and a reinvestment standpoint. And how long would it take to put that plan plan in place? Absolutely. <laughs> you know how, right. how how much preparation have you actually done? And are you going to meet with a realtor so that you could list your house in two weeks? Or maybe you might want to have a better plan in place, like having a target date of when you want to be sold by or having a target date of when you're going to go on the market. Maybe backtrack. Maybe have a, I, oh, I'm going to take out a calendar. I'm going to circle the date I want to have my home sold by. Then I'm going to go back about 45 days, and that's probably the day I want to have it on the market so I can give my home ample time on the market to attract a good buyer. Then I'm going to go back another 90 days or maybe even 45 days, and that that's when I'm going to start preparing my home to sell. So having a plan is super important. Yeah, absolutely, because, I mean, as we just said that right there, it takes you 50 days to sell a home in Rockland. So if you wake up tomorrow and say, hey, I want to go sell my house, you got a bit of work to do to put the house on the market, but then you're going to have about 50 days before it sells, and then you got a 30-day escrow. So you're looking out, you know, three months, four months before the house is actually sold. A little bit of work involved. Okay, cool. And then we're going to roll into just homes for sale. I think this is a really interesting graph that we're putting up right now because what this does is this really kind of shows us transition over time. And uh, we've got November 2019 versus kind of November 2018. And uh, this is, you know, smaller numbers because it's just Rockland. But pending homes right now, 73 homes that are pending sale, meaning actively under contract for sale, versus 53 homes um, back in November 2018. So we're looking at we're looking at actually a, a lot more active market, which would mean, which is indicative of us having less inventory. So more homes are under contract. It's not like all of a sudden this year we have actually more homes available to sell, right. just more homes are under contract because there's more activity. Um, and then the other really cool thing to look at here is is mm-hmm. often we talk about we talk with clients and say, hey, well, we're going to wait till the spring buying season or selling season and we're going to wait to list our home. And often in their mind, that date is more like April. But if you're looking at this graph here, when it just takes off, is it's clicking around no, uh, uh, November, December, and January in the 50s, and then all of a sudden in February, it shoots off like a rocket. So you've got to be ready to have that house on the market like January, February, yep. not April, if you want to really take advantage of that of that rush. Right. And so if that's the case, then you need to have a plan. You need to have a plan set in place. You need to start preparing now. So how do we do that? Uh, what we offer is a soft home inspection. And what that is, is we actually, someone from our team will come in, we'll do a room by room review of your house, and we'll see how it stacks up against the competition. But more importantly, we'll tell you exactly what fix ups you need to do to your home to get it prepared to sell so you could sell it for top dollar. And uh, it doesn't take very long, totally free. We only do about five a week. So if you'd like to schedule that, go ahead and reach out to me, or you can go to PlasterSHI.com. That's PlasterSHI.com, stands for Placer Soft Home Inspection. You can go and schedule it, uh, find uh, find an appointment, schedule it. We'll give you a confirmation call, and we'll come out there, and we'll tell you exactly what you need to do to start preparing your home to sell. So. You know, experience shows if you have a solid plan and you execute on that plan, you're going to achieve your goal. So my name is Brandon Leon. This is Keith Collins, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a blessed day.